Hey everyone, Aaron McMahon here, Michigan football beat writer. And I'm Ryan Zook. Uh, we're here to grade the Michigan football team after its 9-3 regular season. Uh, coming off another loss to Ohio State, let's get into the grades. Let's start off with the offense, where I gave them a C plus. I gave them a B. I thought as the season progressed, they got better. They finished top 20 nationally in efficiency. So when they were not turning the ball over and not making mistakes, they were moving the football. It took them some time. They had a first-year offense, first-year coordinator, and Josh Gaddis. Um, I thought Shea Patterson, when he was healthy, looked really good. Keep in mind, he threw for more yards this year. They were throwing the football more. And I think that's where this offense took the biggest step forward was in the passing game. Receivers were more involved, especially in the second half of the year. Um, the running game was a question mark. I thought it regressed as the season went on. They hit a uh, peak point there about halfway through, um, but between turnovers and a lack of depth and a lack of experience, you really saw the, 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 the running game uh, take a step back. I think if you look at the offense as a whole, both in scoring offense and total offense, I mean they were not in the top 25 in either, uh, and, and st statistically they were better in 2018 than they were in 2019. When Josh Gattis was hired, he was ex expected to take this offense to a ne the next level. Obviously, later in the season, they turned it up a notch, but like you said, the running game, uh, there, no one really grabbed that number one job. Zach Charbonnet showed spurts early on. Son Haskins took over as that number one back, but no one was really that kind of number one back that you could rely on game in and game out. Now on the defense, I, I give you a B minus. I actually gave them a B. I mean, if you look at talent-wise, where they went from 2018, when they had Chase Winovich, where they had Rashawn Gary, these high, high round draft picks to this year. I mean, they ranked in the top 10 in total defense. Uh, yes, they struggled against Ohio State and against Wisconsin, but I mean, holding the Iowa to 10 points, holding Notre Dame to under 200 yards of total offense. I mean, those are some pretty big big performances from the defense overall. You look at Cameron Drone and Aiden Hutchinson, uh, two young underclassmen who looked like they could be stalwarts for the Wolverines in the future as well. Yeah, well, there's talent there, I agree. McGrone is going to be, I think, a good player in a couple years. He could be the next Devin Bush. Uh, Michigan, against a superior talent, didn't fare so, so well defensively. And they gave up almost 500 yards of offense to Wisconsin. They gave up 577 to Ohio State. In the games that they really mattered against the, the uh, superior offenses in the Big Ten, they, they just weren't, they weren't there. They didn't show up. Um, I, I thought they beat up on some, some less, than, less than talented offenses in the Big Ten. You mentioned Notre Dame, but Notre Dame, keep in mind, that was a rain-filled rain game. Notre Dame was basically one-dimensional. Had, they had to run the football, so that I think that helped Michigan. So, this, again, statistically, the Michigan defense was good again this year. I think they were 16 yards allowed, top 20 in, in points allowed, um, but they just didn't get it done against superior talent. And let's head over to special teams, where I gave the unit a B-. minus. I gave him a C plus. We were pretty close. I, th I thought the unit by and large was fine. I don't think he did anything spectacular. Uh, one of the few lone bright spots I thought was Giles Jackson kickoff return for a touchdown against Maryland. Um, but you know, punt return there wasn't much there, and there's just a lack of continuity I thought with the, with the kicking game. Yeah, I mean Jake Moody, Quinn Nordine combined to go 13 of 19 on field goals this year, but neither one of them were able to take that number one spot. And obviously, if you're a coach, you like to have someone grab that number one job that you can rely on in all instances, and I don't think they really got that throughout this season. And Will Hart as a punter, I don't think he was as good as he was in 2018. He was actually replaced by Brad Robbins in the final game of the year as the starting punter. So, And finally, Jim Harbaugh on the coaching staff. Uh, we gave them both C+. Plus. Yeah, I mean, Jim Harbaugh has a chance for his fourth 10-win season at Michigan in his five years here. But again, the, uh, the search for a win over Ohio State is still ongoing. Um, struggles on the road continued with a blowout loss against Wisconsin and a heartbreaking loss to Penn State for, for three losses during the regular season. Yeah, that's my biggest issue, I think, with the coaching staff. I thought they did a fine job overall, but it, just, it almost seems like there's a lack of preparation with this Michigan football team going into some of these big games, whether it was Wisconsin or Penn State or Ohio State. You know, they, they, fall, they fall behind early, and they have to dig themselves out of the hole and against that type of, ta that type of talent. It's difficult to do, and you saw what happened this year. And it's not been this year, it's been years past as well. Um, Josh Gaddis, I, we should probably mention him, first year offensive coordinator. Um, I thought he had struggles early in the year. He was adapting to his, his personnel and the scheme he, he introduced. Um, I thought he got better as, as the season went on, as we talked about early on, that the passing game vastly improved. I think he got a good grasp of what he had at Michigan. The problem was it came a little too late. All in all, a pretty average season for the Wolverines especially considering they were the preseason favorite to win the Big Ten. But a win over Alabama can change some things. I mean, the Crimson Tide have basically been the gold standard of college football over the past decade. It would. It would give Michigan a, a win to close the season, give them 10 wins for, for a, a fourth straight, a fourth year under Jim Harbaugh. Um, but yeah, that wraps it up for us. The game is January 1st in Orlando, Florida. Uh, thank you for watching our coverage all season long. Keep checking MLive.com 
slash wolverines for all your Michigan football coverage.